We are the main savvy life in the known universe. I mean, envision that we're the main spot where there is knowledge in this cosmic system. Cosmologists all through the world are in amazement of this progressive revelation. The James Webb Space Telescope has caught the elusive sparkle of city lights an unimaginable 7 trillion miles far off from Earth, surpassing all assumptions. This awesome accomplishment accomplishes more than simply grow our viewpoints as far as what we are familiar with the universe. Hypothesis spins out of control as researchers pore over the information looking for signs that could open the mysteries of these baffling heavenly guides. The suggestions are amazing, verification that we are not alone in the universe, that the universe groups with life and action a long ways outside our ability to understand. Is it conceivable that these distant lights show the presence of extraterrestrial societies? What does this mean for our insight into the probability of life in the universe beyond Earth? Go along with us as we investigate how the James Webb Telescope just noticed city lights 7 trillion miles away. Sent off into space on Christmas Day 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was planned to outperform the well-established Hubble Telescope in catching outstandingly sharp photographs of newfound heavenly articles, planetary frameworks, and more. A logical objective of the JWST is to study the development of the main worlds by looking into the far-off locales of the universe. This is practical due to the reality that the excursion season of light throughout our universe is billions of years. When the JWST assembles light, it sees these articles precisely as they were billions of years prior. Space experts measure distances in light years, which is the greatest distance light can travel in a year. To represent this reality, the group's underlying realistic tried stressing this. It was a profound field picture that was introduced on July 11, 2022, by U.S. President Joseph Biden while he was talking from the White House. As the Hubble Space Telescope zeroed in on a single region of the sky for 10 straight days, starting on December 18, 1995, profound fields gained reputation. The picked region was just an infinitesimal spot making up around one millionth of the whole sky. Most of the 3,000 already unseen items found by Hubble were cosmic systems found billions of light years away. With its point of convergence on the SMX0723 world group, the JWST profound field covers a likewise small sky region. The real system SMX0723 is 4.6 billion light years away, and the more far off cosmic systems behind it are amplified by its strong gravitational field. The foundation cosmic systems are mutilated into huge bends where the gravitational field is most grounded. In one case, it was verified that it took a far-off world's light 13.1 billion years to arrive at the telescope, subsequent to voyaging through space. The light that is being delivered extends as the universe develops. As they are up to this point away, the principal target cosmic systems of the JWST have extended apparent light from their stars into the infrared. Stargazers can straightforwardly contrast JWSTCs and noticeable light photographs of adjacent worlds taken by Hubble and different telescopes. By gathering information at those frequencies, this will show how worlds create over the course of enormous time, amplifying and combining into the designs we notice today. Considerably more amazing than the sheer number of systems in the JWST's first profound field picture is how rapidly it was caught, in just hours as gone against today's. For all intents and purposes, any place it looks, it can't resist the urge to track down systems. Universe bunches aren't the main articles acting as amplifying focal points. Researchers utilize the JWST to catch a picture of a couple of systems designated VV1191, so they could concentrate on how the light from one of the matches changed as it went through the other. The aftereffects of the examination will uncover the properties of the mediating cosmic system residue, and it looks like the JWST may have recently made a notable disclosure light years outside our nearby planet group. The declaration of the conceivable disclosure of auroras on a purported brown dwarf came from the authority JWST site. The shortfall of a host star and the bone-chilling temperature make it troublesome to pinpoint where the energy in the upper climate is coming from. However, the fact that the article delivering auroras is truly heaving methane is significant. Just as an aurora on Earth is made when vigorous particles that advance into space from the sun are caught by our planet's attractive field, the charged particles then, at that point, make their method for Earth's air through lines of attractive fields close to the posts, where they will slam into gas particles to create a delightful showcase of light known as aurora borealis. Jupiter and Saturn have comparative auroral peculiarities because of the solar wind, 
Yet the earthy colored dwarf W1935 has no star to circle, so its auroras are an immense secret. Everybody's expectation keeps on laying on Proxima Centauri and Trappist 1, just 4.4 light years from Earth and inside the Milky Way system. With researchers identifying the presence of water on the exoplanet, the chance of life on the planet can't be precluded. Are we at last going to see proof of life beyond Earth? Just last month, JWST found another very large black hole. This massive black hole was red in color and gobbled up everything around it. This disclosure is 40 million times as large as the Sun. However, what does it mean for us? The JWST has found that this very huge black hole has been there since the start of the universe. It probably won't be uplifting news. This beast is quickly gobbling up everything in its immediate area. Driving the revelation are Dr. Lucas Fu and Professor Alistair Zitrin of the Ben-Gurion University of the Negev in Israel. According to their disclosures, the supermassive black hole is for all intents and purposes 40 times heavier than the sun, making it a massive beast in contrast with the world it dwells in. Luckily, it is not in that frame of mind to Earth or the nearby planet group. We're talking a remarkable distance at 129 billion light years away from our planet. However, it is drawing nearer with the black hole gobbling up everything around it at a fast rate. It's where the rosy variety comes from, showing that it sits in a thick cover of residue that is clouded, preventing light from going through. When JWST started sending its underlying information, researchers were elated while going through the data that came in for the reveal program. Three little items with a dark red gleam pulled in our consideration. We quickly thought that it was a quasar-like item. Really huge black holes at the focuses of worlds are ceaselessly accumulating material due to their red dot look. The whole world's radiance couldn't realistically be held inside a spot no bigger than a present-day star bunch. We had the option to acquire extremely exact size limitations due to the source's gravitational lensing. In any event, when every one of the potential stars are compacted into that little region, the black hole still represents no less than 1% of the framework's complete mass. The disclosure of comparable way of behaving in different extra-early universe very monstrous black holes has revealed insight into the development of both the black hole and the host system, as well as the connection between the two, which is still generally obscure. If very monstrous black holes form, for example, from star extras or perhaps from early-stage astronomical material that imploded into black holes, space experts can't really understand. Additionally, in the photos it communicates back to Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope is discovering some other rather bizarre things consistently. We have the honor of looking into space and being captivated by the astonishing lights of planets and stars that float across the universe, endless light years away. In addition to this, the James Webb Space Telescope permits us to see much beyond what our eyes can recognize. For instance, a question mark in space. For the past 20 or more months, Webb has been floating through space, communicating back pictures of what it has found in profound space using its cutting-edge near-infrared camera. What's more, now, answers have been given to the revelation of a fairly unconventional-looking finding. In one web picture, focusing on something else entirely, the picture was delivered by the European Space Organization viewing at two youthful stars as they form some 1.47 light-years from Earth. Anyway, there is a little orange mark at the picture's base that looks like a flipped question mark. Clearly, the little picture isn't little by any means. As a matter of fact, it's quite enormous. The question mark was caught while noticing the sets of youthful stars named Herbig Harrow 4647. Vast delights, they are encircled by enormous circles of residue and gas, with the element a couple thousand years of age itself. As for the question mark shape itself, it may well seem to be that due to the two-dimensional picture that has been introduced by Webb from its particular perspective. Right now, we don't have the foggiest idea what it is, and without extra research, we may in all likelihood never know. However, the discoveries have been checked on by specialists in the field. Consequently, it is in all likelihood a far-off system or potentially worlds that are associating with each other. The mutilated question mark structure could be a consequence of their collaborations. Maybe we have never seen this thing before, making it difficult to decide its identity with any level of sureness. Further examination is vital. With the overflow of far-off cosmic systems uncovered by Webb, there is an overflow of new logical request. Presently, 
everyone's eyes are zeroing in on a particular arrangement of Earth-sized planets that could hold the key to finding outsider life near and dear. The Firmly Catch-22, which features the non-appearance of proof for cutting-edge outsider life in the universe, notwithstanding the genuinely high likelihood that such creatures exist, could at long last be settled. Where are these planets sitting? Exactly 40 light years from Earth and the nearby planet group is a star known as Trappist-1, which has seven planets circling it. In their journey to find livable planets, NASA considers a wide scope of boundaries beyond a planet's size and distance from its star. A more viable methodology is to distinguish the general centralizations of these intensifies in a planet's environment. This would permit analysts to decide whether the planet is livable. The Infrared Spitzer Space Telescope, which is essential for NASA's space investigation mission, helped in the discovery of the seven rough exoplanets circling the same star known as Trappist-1 six years ago. The James Webb Space Telescope has presently estimated the temperature of Trappist-1b, one of those worlds. The JWST has been reliably conveying important discoveries since its introduction, and this revelation is simply the most recent in a string of record-breaking firsts. This is the first discovery of any type of light produced by an exoplanet as small and as cool as the rough planets in our own nearby planet group. No past telescopes have had the capability to gauge such faint mid-infrared light. Space experts were delighted when they originally found out about the seven Trappist-1 exoplanets, since these faraway worlds are all around Earth-sized and are in the livable zone, the region where planets can have fluid water on their surfaces at the best separation from their star. They call the framework an extraordinary research center and say it's perhaps of the best spot to concentrate on rough planet environments. Don't become excessively amped up for another world for humans yet. However, the Trappist-1 planets are out of our ongoing reach at an incredible 235 trillion miles away. They're likewise circling a star a lot more modest and redder than our sun, known as an M-dwarf star. These stars are multiple times more normal in the Milky Way than sun-like stars, and they have multiplied the probability of having rough planets compared to sun-like stars. These huge M dwarfs are ideal objectives for livable planet trackers, and rough planets circling these small stars can be all the more effortlessly noticed. Anyway, there is a trick. M dwarfs are altogether more dynamic than our sun, and they regularly flare and radiate high-energy beams, which could be hurtful to a rising extraterrestrial life or a planet's environment. Previously, perceptions of Trappist, 1b were not sufficiently delicate to preclude the plausibility of an atmosphere or the planet's tendency as a desolate rock. Since the planet is tidally locked to its star, one side is continuously confronting the star, and the other is caught in everlasting darkness. As anticipated by reenactment, if Trappist-1b had an atmosphere, the temperature of the planet would be lower, because the air would rearrange the intensity around both sides. Anyway, the JWST estimated a much higher temperature, accordingly precluding the plausibility of an atmosphere and eliminating one more planet from the rundown of possibly tenable universes. By the by, what's energizing isn't really much about Trappist, 1b as it is the reality that the JWST can and will make such perceptions, permitting us to test the environments and temperatures of endless more universes. What might life on these planets seem to be? The James Webb Space Telescope has chosen to step into the shoes of an extraterrestrial meteorologist, participating in some space investigation. By and by, the super-costly piece of space tech has been utilized by a group of worldwide space experts hoping to harness its powers across the universe. It's the most recent in a short but rich history of grandiose investigation, which incorporates taking snaps of a close-by moon that looks shockingly like Earth. This is just the start of its cosmic expedition. When it comes to weather conditions, Webb has been planning precisely what's been happening on a huge planet exactly 280 light years away, generally 1,644 trillion miles from Earth. The planet called WASP 43b is generally the same size as Jupiter, named a hot Jupiter by NASA in the wake of being found by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2011. The weather conditions conjectures have uncovered 1,250 degrees intensity and tropical winds quicker than 5,000 miles per hour. It had all been covered up under monstrous thick high mists covering the night side of the planet. The explanation behind this is that WASP-43b is perfectly locked, intending that albeit one side is continuously presented to the light from the closest star, the opposite side, which has a flawless sky, 
never encounters any light at all. By joining exact brilliance estimations over an extensive variety of mid-infrared light with 3D environment models and earlier perceptions from other telescopes, Webb had the option to affirm that water fume is available on the day side, while Spitzer and Hubble both alluded to the chance of mists on the evening side. Additional precise readings from Webb were fundamental before we could start to map the planet's environment, overcast cover, wind, and air organization by district. WASP-43b requires 19.5 hours to go around its star, with JWST estimating minuscule changes in brilliance of the planet and its neighbors. Webb used brilliance information gained by its cutting-edge near-infrared camera to decide the planet's temperature. The amount of mid-infrared light produced by an item is unequivocally connected with its temperature, which was urgent to the outcomes for which estimations were taken each 10 seconds for more than 24 hours. We had the option to determine a harsh guide of the planet's temperature from our perceptions during an entire circle, which permitted us to decide the temperature of the different sides of the planet as they came into view. The side of the planet that is consistently luxuriating in daylight has an average temperature of right around 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is adequately hot to liquefy iron and most different metals. The clouded side is altogether cooler, yet still bubbling at around 1,125 degrees Fahrenheit. The quick dissemination of warmed air due to supersonic breezes forestalls the creation of methane, a steady and recognizable gas on the clouded side of the planet. The reality that this strategy for temperature planning is conceivable is an obvious sign of how touchy and stable Webb is. Researchers construe from the absence of methane that WASP-43b encounters winds of sizes more prominent than 5,000 miles per hour.